What's going on YouTube? Fuzzy Wuzzy. Another giveaway for my boy Tony the Technician. Tony's a good dude. I've been leaving wacky ass comments on his videos for a long ass time now. He's a good sport about it. He's doing a giveaway too. Giving, also giving away some good shit. And he wants to see a toolbox tour. Or some other shit. I don't remember what it was. But I've never done a toolbox tour. A lot of people have been asking for it. Well, no, not really. Nobody's actually ever asked for it except for Tony because of the giveaway. But you know, fuck it. I'm showing you my shit anyway. Here we go. Well, this is going to be hard to do one-handed. Because I got to hold my tab. I, I do everything with my tablet. I don't have a GoPro. I don't have microphone. I don't have any of that shit. So this is going to be hard to do, but I'll do my best. So here we go. Let's start with the box itself. It's a snap-on. I don't know how old it is, but I know it can be dated by the logo. Somebody out there knows the exact age of it or age range by that logo. Or maybe this logo. I don't know. I bought it used from Craigslist probably six, seven years ago. And it's the best toolbox I ever had. I had Craftsman's, and they work, but they're just eventually turned into pieces of shit. The drawers fall out of them and, you know, whatever. Whenever I have to drop a cradle, uh, you know, using my lift to drop a cradle with the engine and transmission and all that shit on it, I have put it down right on top of this toolbox. And it doesn't fucking bother it a bit. I can still open the drawers. It, it doesn't fucking care. It's a very good, robust toolbox. I recommend getting one. Not Snap-on Junkie status, a fucking $20,000 box, but... This was, I think I paid $1,400, $1,500 for it from Craigslist, and it's, it's worked great. Had it a while. Good box. So let's start on top of the box. I just got random shit. My light, rusty shit, a couple of uh, Torx Plus kicking around. I got my real long 120 yeah, XP's, gear wrench. They're real good. I love the wrenches. Except for this, where is it? My 13 here. The fucking end is starting to get all floppy and shit. And I, I'll tighten that screw, but it it really doesn't seem to care. Maybe I just got to tighten it a little more because I'm using, I'm using a ball end on it. So you can only tighten it so much before it slips. But that's my only complaint with that, is that one end getting loose. Other than that, they're fantastic wrenches. They're on top of the box, because I don't got room in the wrench drawer for them. I got room in the toolbox, but I don't have room in the drawer for the wrenches. And I don't want to just stick it in any random-ass drawer, because that shit will bother me. Okay? So, moving on. First drawer. All my sockets here. These are... Gray Pneumatic, Eric the Car Guy is why I bought these. He did a review on them two years ago, and I bought them, and they've been great sockets. I never broke one, never had a problem. These are thin wall impact sockets. Complete set from 7 to 22. Does not skip any sizes, short and deep. The only complaint is... They're not uh, etched with anything. They're not like uh, uh, like like this one here. Fucking come on now! But you see how it has the the lettering there, and you know etched in it. These don't. They're they're like written on it. So when they get real dirty, like that one. It can be hard to see the size. You gotta really look. Cause it's also written right there. Real small on it. But right here where it, it's normally written. When they get real dirty and shitty. They're hard to see. Other than that no complaints. Quality wise I never broke one. They're super. Back here is where I keep my spark plug sockets. That's a special spark plug socket. I used a grinder and I shaved it down. To get the knockoffs on my Lincoln, because Ford has that that real small five lug bolt pattern, 
and a thin wall socket wasn't cutting it. I had to make an extra thin wall socket and grind it down real thin. And it's still tight, but I, I just don't want to grind it any thinner. I think it'll fucking break. These are my metrics. Tectin. Miscellaneous shit right here. Tectin, they don't skip any sizes on the deeps. So all this shit is just where it, it stops. And I just haven't bought, you know, miscellaneous sizes to fill in the gaps. I just kind of put my random, random shit there. That's the metric. That's the standard. Same story. It stops after X amount of sizes and it's just got random shit. These are my half inch impacts. These back here, these is all my 12 points. I use 12 points sometimes, like, I don't know where that one is, that's my 12. I know, I know exactly where that is. Sometimes you need a 12 point, not often. Ford drive shaft is an example, you need a 12 point, 12 millimeter. Sometimes you just need a 12. So I keep 12s. I have a, almost a full set of metric. The, the red is my SAE. I don't use much standard shit. So I haven't gone out and bought a standard set. This is just random mix match shit, you know? Back there I got my E, I think they call them inverted Torx, E Torx, I think they call them. Random shit, random shit. I like to put like my swivel side, these are, what are these? Yeah, these are Armstrong. Pretty happy with these Armstrong swivels. It's kind of like Armstrong is like Blue Point is the snap on, Armstrong is the Matco. And just like those sockets there with these swivels, when you just got a cheap ass rail, I like to mount them on a, a piece of wood so that they just stand straight up and don't fall over when, the, when you're moving the fucking drawers in and out. These are my uh, semi deep, these are gray pneumatics. Semi-deep's nice, but man, I've only used them like once or twice when I actually needed them. These are my Sun X halves for lugs, like 19 and a half, 18 and a half, 22, 22 and a half. I don't use them often, but you know, when, when you need them, they're handy for those stupid ass like Dodges. They got the chrome lug nut covers and shit. These are my, I think they're Sun X. Super deep, and I did not want impact, uh, super, super shallow, I meant. I did not want impact super shallows, but I bought them anyway because it's got the hex. And, you know, you, you might not need it, but it's a nice feature to have. And they compare up to a regular short and then a, a deep. You know, they're, they're pretty fucking short. And that's the, the ability to put a wrench on there is just a nice feature to have. Even if you never knew, use it, it's nice to have. That's why I bought them. Again, just like the deep, I've only used them like once or twice. I don't use them much. This is just random big ass. This is a, for a four wheel drive, this is an old ass. I don't even remember what I used that on. It might have been a Bronco I had. I don't remember. These are just random sockets these big ass things right here usually these end up in the press i got a harbor freight 20 ton press for ball joints wheel bearings whatever because I, I don't work on shit that big that requires that size so that's usually where those go and speaking of press hold on this is gonna be let me take this shit out of here Speaking of press, underneath my gray pneumatics is miscellaneous Mitch match extra, you know, my double sizes that I don't use. The ones under here is these are the ones that get shit on. These are the ones that end up in the press. These are the ones that end up getting hammered on, modified, ground on, welded on. These are my throwaway sockets. So I keep my keep I just keep them under here just I don't know. I think it's a good place to put them. Hold on, let me. 
I had to pause, put all that shit back. Can't do it one-handed. I got a lot of ratchets. I got this Mac. Uh, it's what the fuck is it called? Zero tooth, zero swing, something like that. I don't remember. It doesn't got any teeth in it. It's pretty neat. There's no like backlash in it. You know, you hear a click, and then you got to take a little bit of uh, rotation for it to grab the teeth. Gearless. That's what it's called. The gearless ratchet. I don't ever use it much. It's. I just thought it was cool, so I wanted it. And I ended up trading on a, a buddy at work. I think I bought it from him or trading something. I don't remember. But my go-to is this flex head westward and this real long uh, tectin. These are my go-to ratchets. And inside the box here, that's where I keep my my swivels, these are Mac. I like them. I, I really like these swivels. They hold up well. These old universal shit, I don't, I don't use those much anymore. This one with the spring, I really like that with the spring because it stays straight. You get a lot of extensions on there, it doesn't fucking sag down. It's, it's easy to fish up into a spot when the U-joint stays stiff. Yeah, adapters, U-joints, that's all that's in this box. And you gotta have gotta have a raised panel craftsman that shit was standard in everybody's toolbox back in the day gotta have a raised panel craftsman even if i don't use it it's just it's home that's that's it i got this real stubby tectin again i don't use it much my long Long reach Allen's, those are metric. I need to get a standard set. I just just haven't yet. I think that's it for this drawer. Screwdrivers. I bought this over the summer, this gear wrench screwdriver set. It's holding up well. Because I had just mismatched, fucking horrible, the tips broken off type shit in here. I keep my picks in the center, these Harbor Freight picks and miscellaneous, and this fucking guy, this guy right here. I keep this around because a buddy of mine was over here, you know, a long time ago, and before I had this set, and he's like, what in the fuck is this? What did you do to this poor screwdriver? And, uh, man, I don't know. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I broke the handle off by putting it in my impact, like my half-inch impact with a big-ass socket on it so I could push on it real hard and turn it, and that just blew the fucking handle off. And the bend, I don't know. It's just one of them things that happens. And just from his reaction, like, what in the fuck did you do? I just I feel the need to keep it around. So I keep it right down here in the center. Just as a little memento. These are just some ball-in Allens. These are my good screwdrivers. I don't hit these with a hammer. This is all the shit I hit with a hammer. My old, old screwdrivers and nut drivers and just various shit. That's the shit I hit with a hammer. Back here I got my scrapers. That, I don't even know why the fuck that's here. I don't know what I do. I, I don't, that, that shouldn't even be in here. Keep my punches. This is a Harbor Freight extension I broke. But I decided not to take it back because it makes a pretty damn good punch. So I keep it I keep it back there with my, my punches and scraper and shit. My Allen game, my Allen game is not tight. I need to get some proper Allen wrenches. I just got them fucking thrown in here, miscellaneous sizes. That's something I gotta work on. My Allen game is not good. But I'll get there. Harbor Freight pick set. Missing one. I lost one like the second fucking day. And that I had laying around. I don't even know where that's from. But I got a complete set again. Wrenches. These are my go-to. They go from, I don't know, what is that? Probably an 8. Yeah, an 8. All the way up to 24, 26. These are just standard 12-point 
mix match set. You, I'm seeing a lot in our little tool community about the Carlisle and the Milwaukee wrenches. And man, they're nice, but I, I got a full set of wrenches. I just, I don't see a need to buy them. They're mismatched and shit, but you know, they fucking work. I, I, I can't see a reason to get rid of them just because they don't match. So these are my 12 points, and this is my metric set and standard set of six points. These are the Chinese Craftsman's. I bought these off eBay. They were like 30 bucks a set. And, you know, the finish, and that's you know, not that impressive. But they work. And I bought them because they're six point. And sometimes working on rusty shit when you're using a wrench, sometimes you just need a six point. And that's that's the only reason I bought them. Because there wasn't a whole lot of manufacturers with six point wrenches. So I ended up with these Chinese craftsmen. And you know, whatever, they work. Miscellaneous. These crow's feet is from a Harbor Freight uh, serpentine tool. Harbor Freight serpentine tool. And that was a custom wrench I had to make and some other bullshit. That's what's left. And these are just big guys that I don't use often, but, you know, sometimes I do. I'd like to get a whole set of big ones. I just, but I haven't got around to it. Down here is my miscellaneous drawer. I got, I try to keep it organized with cardboard boxes like I did with the... Uh, my adapters, got my tape, pens, pencils, notepad, flashlights, uh, RTV, JB Weld, dielectric grease, knives, uh, Harbor Freight sets, the relay shit, the relay with the uh, on off switch. I use that for pumping fuel out of junk cars. It's, it's real handy because you just throw it in where the fuel pump relay would be. It's got a switch on it, turn it on. Take the fuel line off the engine, pump it into a tank. Real nice. That's all I use that for. This is a digital caliper. This thing, this thing is fucking super. If you don't have one of these, shake and break, get one. It goes on an air hammer. It's for taking the little Phillips head screws off of rotors. Usually they end up getting stripped out and fucked up, but this thing, it works kind of like an impact driver. It, well, it is an impact driver, yeah, I guess. It just uses your air hammer and a handle to turn while the air hammer is ha hammering. Works very, works very, very well. You don't need a big-ass air hammer either, like the fucking big nasty and shit. No, you don't, you don't need that. You'll obliterate these little tips. So any, any air hammer will do with this thing. And yeah, just miscellaneous bullshit. This, this shift knob I keep in here. That old Monarch I had, the old Granada, I talked about in Hard Knocks Forge video. The first car I ever put together, before it had the 5-speed, I had an old-school 4-speed. And I kept the knob when I went to a 5-speed. And that's been in my toolbox ever since. It was in the old Craftsman box before this one. I don't know why. I just I keep it in there. It's going to be in there forever. I don't know. It just It is what it is. I don't know why I like it in there, but I do. And is that drawer? This I keep my air fittings, Schrader valve removal tool, air pressure test things, blow gun. That's just where I keep miscellaneous air shit. And pry bars and another another thing I got that's not tight, my hammer game is not tight. I got three hammers. I got this big plastic cheap ass one. Got this little guy, this little east wing, I think it is. That's a good little hammer. I like having a tiny little hammer like that. Comes in handy. And this is my only other big hammer. It's got a fucked up old wooden handle. But that's that's all I got to play with. Where are safety goggles? Yeah, it doesn't even say China on it. I have no idea what the fuck it is. Oh, it's a Craftsman. There you go. Made in the old USA Craftsman. There you go. I'd like to get one with, you know, a better handle and maybe a little more weight, but that's all I got to work with. 
and then it works. Got my Lyle brake kit Lang, not Lyle Lang, brake caliper spreader. Cheater bar for the ratchets. That's the only thing that thing's in there for. And this C-clamp, this C-clamp is probably the saddest, the saddest C-clamp you've ever seen in your fucking life. Handle's bent. That thing's all fucked up. No tip on it. When you turn it, I can't, I can't even turn it. It's all fucked up. That thing's all bent and shit. Yeah, the, the C-clamp's the C clamps an OG. This thing's been to battle numerous times. I really should replace it, but uh, I, I, don't, I don't use it much. Strap pull, strap wrenches, I got two of them. Again, not used often. This is a Harbor Freight ball joint separator instead of using a pickle fork. It works really, really well. I recommend it. You just put a lot of tension on it and just whack it with a hammer like you normally would and the, the fucking ball joint just separates. You don't tear up the boots like you would with a pickle fork and shit. Works well. Next drawer, more bullshit. There's my Harbor Freight serpentine belt tool, cheater pipe, my hose clamp cable this is just a, a file set it's uh it's a nice file set i don't care much for the handles they come off sometimes but the files themselves have been pretty nice this pipe wrench this fucking pipe wrench when i moved into this house i had a pool and i was doing something like the first year i lived here and that was laying in the yard from when I was doing something and I hit it with the mower. That's how the handle got broke. It broke the fucking spindle on the lawn. I wasn't even my lawnmower. I was using the neighbors. I didn't even have one yet. It broke the fucking spindle. And that end that it broke off, I don't know where it went. That I've been in this house almost 10 years. I still haven't found it. The pool's gone. That thing, that end there, it fucking flew off into outer space. I don't know where it went. It's up there orbiting the earth. I never fucking found it. That's the story with that pipe wrench. Down here is where I keep my OTC master disconnect set. This bitch has got just about everything you want in it. And uh, an instruction manual that tells you what it fits, what year range and shit. It's a real nice kit. I don't remember what I paid for it. I've had it so long. That is a full set of Craftsman tools. That set I don't ever use in the shop. That's what I take to the junkyard. What else do I got in here? I got a plastic set of plugs for plugging power steering lines, hydraulic hoses, whatever, just so they don't they don't drip and shit on you. That's a torque wrench, torque wrench, torque wrench. I don't even remember what the fuck I got in here. Oh, uh, body hammer set, Herbert Free. I've used it a couple times for. Uh, Straightening out transmission pans and shit like that when people run into shit and fucking dent them all up. That's all I use that for. This one, I got my torque sticks. Front wheel drive axle set. It's pretty much a big ass socket set. Again, Harbor Freight, these things have been good. Never had an issue with them. This is a Master Cool, which I've... Somebody rebrands Master Cool shit. I don't remember who it is. It's one of those hydraulic 
flare tools. I will say this thing is really, really handy to have if you're doing shit out in the open. But the way you got to set it up, if you're doing it laying on your back under a car, it, it can be kind of kind of cumbersome. I got a Chrysler harmonic balancer puller. And that is a, another set of big ass sockets for four wheel drives. For the uh, spindle nuts and shit. Miscellaneous shit. These are gear wrench, trim pullers, push pin. I use this motherfucker a lot. I dig it. This is my Las Vegas tools. Las Vegas tools, vice grip, slide hammer. I think it's one pound, maybe two. This company's out of business now. You can buy shit like this on eBay. But they look all Chinesium and shit. They just look like shitty pairs of vice grips. And this is not a vice grip brand vice grip. It's, uh, I don't know what it is, but this motherfucker will bite. It, it bites real good. I use that for pulling out like uh, cotter pins and shit. It's real convenient. And uh, dial pins on motor blocks, you know, between the transmission and just, you know, whatever. Shit like that. Real handy. More long hose pliers. I got a big ass Proto three quarter inch drive, which I've never used. I don't have much three quarter inch shit. Yeah, this is just, just random bullshit. Wow, this thing. I bet you guys have never seen one of these before. Hold on. Somebody tell me what the fuck this is before I tell you. There it is. You body guys will know. I used one of these at Owen at, at my local community college when I took auto body. I got a certificate in auto body when I got out of high school. I never, I never planned on doing it for a job. I just, you know, something I wanted to fucking learn. And I used this tool in the school. And I looked for years and years and years, even in the Snap-on catalog, Blue Point catalog, I could not find this tool. A friend of mine, the guy that was a fucking pulled by my screwdriver, he found it for me on eBay, and it's the only one I've ever seen since. What it is, on the old school cars that used to have the chrome around the wheel well, this would grab the pinch weld, and then you'd stick it around there, and you'd squeeze on it to get the screw head up in the little screws, because they're always rusted in there, rusted as fuck. Squeeze it together to push that screw head into that screw real hard. Then you can put a quarter inch ratchet on it and get the screw out of the, the trim. Let me know if you've seen one of these before because I could not find one. It took me a very long time and I didn't even find it. And honestly, I haven't used it since. I don't have old school cars like that anymore that have the chrome around the wheel wells. But I don't want to fucking get rid of it just because it's cool. This is my, these are the pliers I use the most. Just got a pair of snap-on cutters, some Tecton snap ring pliers, Harbor Freight needle nose. Like a lot of people talk shit about Harbor Freight pliers. I'm fairly satisfied with these Harbor Freight long needle nose. The, the handles do flex when you squeeze something real hard, but for what you pay for them, they, they've done me pretty good i bought them because i never had needle nose like that before real long ones i bought them thinking well i'll try the harbor freight ones if i end if i end up using them a lot i'll step up to some better ones a better brand and i just i haven't needed to yet they they work for me this is just more bullshit needle nose uh external snap ring vice grip my pair of nipex Knipex, however the fuck you want to say it, pliers. I had two of them. I had these and a smaller pair. And I must have left that smaller pair under the hood because I haven't seen them bitches in like a year. I have no idea where they went. 
Uh, I didn't hit those with the mower and make those fly away. I don't know where they are. I must have left them in a car. These are the Nipex hose clamp pliers. They're okay. They're okay. The the head grips real well, but because of the size of them, they 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 can't really get into super tight spots. But if you're out in the open, I, I guess you can't beat them. These are my Tecton mini bolt cutters. These things are are good. I really like these for doing brake lines and shit. You just get in there, cut them all out with these, rip them out, start over. Yeah, this this is real good for that shit. Happy purchase with these. Another pair of ice grips. Uh, wire strippers. You guys have all seen that shit before, I'm sure. A couple companies make something that look just like this. There's probably some Chinese knockoffs on eBay, too. This is my regular ratcheting wrench drawer. These Craftsman ratcheting wrenches were the first ones I ever bought years and years and years ago. And I fucking hate them. I fucking hate them. They, they often don't grab. You'll be, you, you'll be using them and you swing back and they don't grab. They just, they're fucking pieces of shit. I fucking hate them. And I, again, one of those things that I keep just probably because I'm an idiot. But I've got other ones over the years. You know, just, I, I don't use them much. If I end up using a ratcheting wrench, they work out because I don't use them much. I end up using my big ones or a, a socket. I don't need little short guys like this often. Here's all my quarter inch shit. Sorry, you. Sounded like diddly. Here's all my quarter inch shit. Again, gray pneumatic. These sockets have been really good as well. I did break the ratchet once, I didn't break the teeth. I broke the, the square end off, and I was able to just to get a rebuild kit for it, and it's been happy ever since. I really like this, uh, like the nut driver type thing, because you can put a uh, ratchet on it, use it as an extension, and it's a, a wobble plus. You put a socket on there, it'll wobble, shove it on more, it stays stiff. But this has been a good set. I, I would buy this again. And again, trying to keep shit organized in boxes, extensions, quarter-inch swivels. This is just screwdriver tips, just miscellaneous bullshit. I was trying to put together a 12-point set just because I like having... These are all 6 We You can get these 6-point or 12-point. I got 6-point, but I would also like to have... Uh, 12 point set, but finding quarter inch shit and 12 point is not easy. Not many people make them, and I don't want them bad enough to buy a whole set like this again. So, I don't know, one of these days I'll hit pawn shops like I normally do, and I'll find one, you know, one of these days when I got nothing to do, I'll start piecing my shit together, my missing pieces. This is gear wrench, swivel. These are... They're okay. I find that on these real small fasteners, the head, it, it just it doesn't want to stay on there. And the way these universals move, they don't move like the ball type, like on swivel sockets. I, I think it's because of the way they move that they just fucking fall off the head of the fastener. I, they're okay. I wouldn't buy them again. I would buy the regular ball type shit, like my, like my, fuck, like my Armstrong right there. I'd buy that style over this style, but they're, they're okay. Extra ratchets, classic Craftsman ra raised panel, little quarter inch breaker bar. I bought this little quarter inch breaker bar when I broke that fucking ratchet and I couldn't find one of these either. I ended up getting this on eBay. It's a vintage one made in USA. Because I didn't want to break that bitch again and get a little rebuild kit. So I got this. And again, after I broke that, wouldn't you know it, I, I didn't need it anymore. 
I've never had to put that much torque on a quarter inch again. I've only used this thing like fucking once. But I got it. Oh, I got into there. I like star head screws. That's all I buy is star head, you know, screws for when I'm making shit out of wood. So I just bought a whole, whole pack of them. This is miscellaneous ball head Allen for my quarter inch drive impact driver. And that's it, I think. Almost forgot YouTube. I got my shit up here. One Pittsburgh breaker bar. And my three Steelman extensions. They got three different sizes of them. Line them all up so that you can see how long they are. They're half inch drive on that end, three eighths drive on this end. They're all swivel. And you can just see how long some of them are. I use these for transmissions. I use them behind my Milwaukee half inch impact. They hold up just fine. I haven't broke one yet. Alright, now I'm done. Peace.